Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the best way to execute a market structure shift long entry model. And what this basically means is we're just using price action only, no indicators, and we're going to see how we can day trade intraday uh, on the five and the one minute chart to be profitable long term. So if you're looking for a profitable trading strategy with no indicators, then this is the video for you. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it and subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week on helping you become a consistently profitable trader quicker. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so we are on NASDAQ. Left side is the one hour chart, right side is the one minute chart. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically do a top down analysis. So the first thing you wanna do when you're trading price action is you go to the daily or the four hour just to determine if we're bullish or bearish, right? So NQ, um, left to right, you can see that we are bullish because we're making higher highs and higher lows and higher swing lows also. So the assumption is that we're gonna target the next areas of liquidity, um, you know, fair value gaps, things of this nature, things that are untapped. So all I'm gonna do is draw horizontal lines and on areas on the daily, the four hour or the one hour where we kind of have been untapped. And I, I like to treat them as magnets. It's basically like, like seeking liquidity so price if we are bullish and we're going to the upside the first target in my opinion would be this 20,123 because there's been no trading uh, in between these two areas right you can just draw a fair value gap and you can see the fair value gap right there so you just take the the wick the high of the wick from one candle to the other candle in the middle and that's basically a fair value gap so i draw a horizontal line uh, right there then i will go down to the four hour chart and see if there is anything else because again, I've already determined we're bullish, and so I've determined that we want to go higher. I'm just marking off areas where there's potential magnets or draws on liquidity. So on the four hour chart, we have one right here, all the way up to there. And then you go to the one hour chart, and you look to the left. We've taken everything out here. Yeah, so there's another one, basically 153, right? So we already have two here, so I'm just gonna leave those. Um, and then we have more up top higher. So you know, I could put one up in uh, right here. So in terms of short term targets um, on the upside, this is what we'd be looking at with the current price right now. So we would expect us to draw towards those areas if we remained bullish. Then what we do is we go down to the five minute chart now and the right side, <clears throat> I only look at the right side for entries if I wanna get an entry. And all I would basically do is wait for market structure to sweep a low and then shift market structure bullish, which is what we did. So this morning uh, took out some lows, uh, overnight lows, and then pushed up and closed above some swing highs to the left, confirming a bullish market structure. So at this point, what I like to do is wait for a, a strong push and then a fair value gap for price to retrace into, and then an entry. So as an example, um, just to make this example easy to understand, right now, uh, if this was, if we were bullish here at this point, uh, this would be a fair value gap on the five minute. So I would draw this and I would wait for us to retrace into it and I would watch it on the one minute. So all that means is if I drew the same thing here on the one minute chart, um, the entry, the fair value gap would be from here to here, uh, which is, I'm just drawing the same fair value gap that's on the left side here. So if we drew the same thing, then what we would want is we would want price to come retrace down into it on the one minute and then close out of it with an engulfing. And then we could long and target new highs. So, and the reason why we can do that is because if we are bullish on the higher time frames, that means we're the, there's a magnet basically pulling us up on the uh, higher time frames, which is where we price wants to seek. And since price wants to seek there, we have to assume that if we come back into lower time frame fair value gaps and close back out, you have to ask yourself, where's the destination? Where are we going if we went in it and then close back out? Well, it would be the higher time frame uh, magnets, essentially. So, you know, first magnets are lower time frame sweeps of liquidity, like obviously here, uh, the overnight high, 2070 would be the earliest target, which is listed here. And what you could do is just you get in an entry, um, but I only make sure that the uh, risk reward ratio is at least a one to one. So this would be tight, but this is a one to one, 24 point stop, 24 point TP. You're just targeting kind of liquidity to the left. Then you can move stops to break even. So essentially what you would do is the stop would be break even. Um, you would hit one R and then you probably get stopped out break even. After that, you would have to wait and then you would be looking for another entry if you could get one. The beauty of this strategy in trade price action is you can flip between ES and NQ. So on ES, if we are stronger than NQ, meaning let's say 
ES makes a higher high while NQ makes a lower high, then you can focus on the fair value gaps. Use the exact same strategy I just explained, but you just take it on whichever stronger between the two uh, because they are likely to seek its own liquidity as in higher highs if one is stronger than the other and both are bullish on higher time frames. So you're just kind of choosing which is reacting better on the day and using the same strategy. So again, at this point, um, NQ is actually reacting stronger than ES. So we, we wouldn't even waste time looking at ES because we're getting, we're focused on longs because the higher time frame is bullish. So this is why we would only look to go for longs. And all we're doing again is we're watching for five minute fair value gaps, right? You can see we came down and we respected this fair value gap again and we are bullish and then we close back outside. Now, only reason I don't personally take this trade because yeah, we did dip down and then uh, close back out of the five minute fair value fair value gap. I don't like doing this because it, it um, we swept a higher swing low, um, which means we possibly shifted market structure to back to the downside. If we respected this low and just tapped into the fair value gap again and traded back up, then I would be taking this long again, stop below this swing low, target the highs. And then anytime I go to one R, I move the stop to break even. Like I said, I wouldn't take it because we potentially just shifted market structure bearish. Let me know if you have any questions on the strategy. This is how I trade the five minute and the one minute chart. I just go top down analysis, look at candlesticks only. And all I'm doing is I'm looking at if we're bullish or bearish in the higher time frame. then I'm looking at certain magnets on the higher time frame of where price could want to draw towards. At that point, I'm watching intraday to see if we shift from bearish on the lower time frame back to bullish, then look for a retracement into five minute fair value gap, and then go to the one minute chart and watch for a deliberate push back outside of the five minute fair value gap, proving that we're bullish and we do want to seek those higher time frame magnets. And that's exactly the whole trading strategy. Uh, again, ent entries though, usually like 10 a.m. to uh, 3 p.m. I don't really uh, trade outside that. Um, and I stick to those times. So again, one tip of this, make sure your trades are always at least one R. And as a safety net, I like to move my stop to break even after one R. Again, let me know if you have questions down below about this strategy. Study it. Let me know what you think. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.